You know, the best-selling airsoft gun that we see in this store is either the M4 or the M16 design. But in the world of real firearms, if you go outside the United States, if you go to like Baghdad or Kabul or say Mogadishu, the gun you're most likely to find is the AK-47. So we're going to talk about that this week. You know, I think just about every firearms expert in the world will agree that the most prolific gun ever made is the AK-47 assault rifle. It's been said that over 100 million of these have been produced since they were first introduced in 1947. They're rugged and reliable and that's what makes them popular with the military. But the things that make this a strong gun in the real world are not necessarily the things that make an airsoft gun good. So let's talk about the airsoft version of the AK-47. The basic AK-47 that we offer here is the SEMA full stock tactical version. This is basically an upgraded version from the standard AK in that it has the quad rail rather than the fake plastic stocks that come on the standard versions. This does have a polymer lower receiver, although the upper receiver, the barrel, and the magazine are all made out of full metal, as is the full metal gearbox. This gun weighs in at around 6 pounds and gives you a velocity of around 320 feet per second with a .25 BB. One of the things I really like about this gun is that it comes with a much larger battery as part of the standard package. Most basic M4s come with an 8.4 volt battery. This also uses an 8.4 volt battery, but you can see it's a much larger battery, which gives you about 1200 milliamps, which basically equates to more playtime between recharges. The other thing I really like about this gun is that getting the battery in and out of this is very simple. All you do is remove the butt plate and the battery fits right into there. And since it's a full stock, this can take just about any size battery that you want to put in it. One of the things I really like about this gun is that it comes with the quad rail as part of the basic package. Most standard basic guns come with a regular handguard that doesn't give you any kind of rails to mount accessories on. This one you can mount a forward grip or a scope or a flashlight and a laser and not have to spend extra money to get the handguard upgraded to take those parts. Another option for the AK-47 is the underfolding stock design. This basically allows you to fold the stock down underneath the receiver to make the gun a little more compact for close quarter battle drills. This is the full tactical version. It's also available in the wood stock version for the guys that like the more traditional design. The nice thing about this is the gun is obviously much more compact, but since you no longer have that massive stock to put the battery in, the battery now has to fit in the upper receiver, so it's a little harder to get the battery in and out, and you can no longer use as big of a battery as you can on the full stock version. But if you're looking for a compact design, this is the way to go. Another option for the AK-47 line is the shorter Commando or Spetsnaz versions like this cyber gun that I have here. Although it doesn't have the longer barrel for accuracy, the shorter front end makes it easier to get around corners for doing close quarter battle drills. And since it's a little bit shorter, it weighs a little less at five and a half pounds. But it does give you the same kind of velocity at around 330 feet per second that the full size AK-47 gives you. Although this doesn't give you a quad rail, it does at least give you one lower rail so you can add either a flashlight or a forward grip to this gun. And it does give you the full stock option, which is nice if you want to use a larger battery with this gun. So this sort of gives you the best of both worlds with this particular design. On the top end of the food chain are the full metal versions of the AK. This is the AK-74U Crinkoff, made by D-Boys. They refer to this as the RK-12 model. This is a full metal version of the AK-74, versus all of the other AKs that we've showed you up until this point have had plastic receivers. This has a full metal receiver. This gun is different from the other AKs in that number one, it's an AK-74 versus an AK-47, and number two, this is a side folding stock. So by depressing this button, the side folds in half this way, which turns it into a CQB model. And to unfold it, it has the button on the back of the stock, allowing you to unfold the model. This weighs in at around five pounds, seven ounces. So although this is a full metal gun, this is actually a little bit lighter weight than the ones with some of the plastic parts. This one gives you a velocity of around 300 feet per second with a .25 BB. Some of the major features on this gun are the Noveski style flash hider, which is a very large flash hider on the front of this gun versus the standard ones that you see on most AK-47s and 74s. The thing about this one is that it actually acts like an amplifier when you're firing it, so it makes the sound of the gun much louder than your standard AK-47s. Since this is a side folding stock, there's obviously no room to put the battery inside of the stock of this gun, so the battery is located inside of the upper receiver. 
The nice thing about this style of gun is that it actually has a hinged dust cover on the upper receiver, which makes it a lot easier to get in and out of it to make battery changes and that sort of thing. This is a dual aperture rear sight, so you're able to flip from one sight setting to the other versus standard AK-47s that only give you one aperture setting on it. This also obviously has no scope rails or any kind of way to mount accessories on it, with the exception of the fact that it does have the side mount on it. So if you want to mount a scope onto this gun, you have to use one of the side mounts for it. The other thing you'll notice about this gun is that it uses an AK-47 style magazine versus an AK-74. Although I found with all of the guns, they're pretty much interchangeable between the AK-47 magazines and the AK-74s. So why would somebody want an AK versus any other gun that's out there in the airsoft world? Well, in the real world of firearms, the AK-47 and the AK-74 are made to very sloppy tolerances, which makes them extremely reliable in adverse conditions like ice and mud and snow and that kind of stuff. They're also extremely reliable and rugged, so you know every time you pull the trigger it's going to go bang. Now, in the world of airsoft, these guns are not really made to any different tolerances than, say, an M4 or a G36, so you're really not getting any particular benefit of going with an AK over any other airsoft gun, at least in that respect. One nice thing about these guns is that they're fairly common, so getting additional parts for them or customizing them with different flash hiders or stocks, or if you're looking for replacement parts like gearboxes and motors, it's very easy to come by spare parts for these guns. The nicest thing about the AK design is that there's a lot of styles to choose from, so if you're looking for the shorter barreled CQB kind of guns or the longer barreled rifles, there's a lot of things in between with the AK for you to choose from. If you want to find out more about these guns, feel free to stop in the showroom. We'll be glad to sit down with you and show you your options and get you exactly what you want the first time. So until then, we'll see you the next time.